in a room full of Labor women. Thank you all for your messages of support over the past week. One of their standard bearers standing firm. No, I did not mislead the parliament. Katie Gallagher's faced fresh scrutiny this week over what she knew, and more specifically when she knew, about former Liberal staffer Brittany Higgins' allegation she was raped by a colleague in Parliament House in 2019. The Australian newspaper publishing text messages between Ms Higgins and her partner David Shiraz, suggesting Senator Gallagher had been tipped off days prior to the story breaking in February 2021. I woke up mid-rape, essentially. Mr Shiraz provided me with information. Uh, I did nothing with that information. Ms Higgins' former boss, whose office was the scene of the alleged rape, took aim at Senator Gallagher over the issue in June 2021. I was told by one of your senators two weeks before um, about what you were intending to do. I had no knowledge of this. No one had any knowledge. OK. I had no well, we knowledge of this. How dare you? Order. Now we will it's all move. about we protecting will yourself. We may... I was responding to an assertion that we had known about this for weeks and had made a decision to weaponise it. Uh, that is not true. It was never true. Fellow Labor frontbenchers in lockstep. I did not know the full details of the allegations before the story became public. Uh, there are others who did know a lot of detail, including Morrison government ministers. Scott Morrison also under fire, with a former staffer claiming his office made her the scapegoat for the incident. Fiona Brown was Chief of Staff to Linda Reynolds when the rape was alleged to have occurred, arguing her reputation is now in tatters. All you have is your name. It's what you come in with, it's what you go out with. You fight for your name. While the integrity of politicians are being questioned here, there's also the issue of how text messages from a woman alleging she'd been raped made it into the public domain. Lawyers are already questioning whether material gathered during the criminal investigation of Bruce Lerman, the man Ms Higgins accused of rape, have been leaked. No criminal findings have ever been made against Mr Lerman and he maintains his innocence. But the discussion over the integrity of evidence will continue in civil court as he sues a number of media organisations, including the ABC, for defamation. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.